A comic by Awkward Zombie. You got 50 rupees. But I can't care anymore. So I guess I'll put it back. What? My wallet is full. I can only hold 300 rupees. So take out a green one, man. Those are only worth one. That would still be more than 300. They are the same size. <laughs> I mean, that's a good point. It is kind of strange how rupees of the same size, you could still only hold only exactly 300's worth. You could have like 300 green or just like, what, what one gold? <laughs> That'll quite add up. Anyway, what's cracking, guys? And it is once again time for the final Zelda meme video. Trademark. <laughs> I'm back at it again. You know I'm a big Zelda fan out there. I have loved Tears of the Kingdom and a lots of, really lots of cool things have happened here. Ocarina of Time got its 25th anniversary. I think it was on the 21st, so that was pretty cool. And uh, some other big thing came out, a nice Ocarina of Time animation came out as well of what Studio Ghibli and also, I guess, Zelda would look like combined, and it was fantastic. It was made by Juan Link, and I definitely suggest you check that out, because golly, that was impressive. Anyway, I'm gonna be looking at some Zelda-themed memes for the final time, I swear. Leave a like for the final meme video, okay, guys? And subscribe. Yeah. Zelda William dresses as Link for Halloween. And that's just really cool. If you guys don't know who Zelda Williams, that's Robin Williams' daughter. He was a huge fan of Zelda, why he named his kid Zelda. <laughs> he was also a huge World of Warcraft fan, so he would have been really happy with Season of Discovery being announced too. Man, Robin Williams, you left the world too soon, you beautiful, glorious guy. So Cedon out here saying, had things turned out differently, you might have been my sister's husband, my brother-in-law. Link, you should have fluffed my sister. <laughs> no, I mean, that is technically what he's saying. Ha, <laughs> such ecstasy. Playing Age of Calamity, Seedon comes back from the future. Link, my dearest friend, I have come from the grave future to tell you you must fluff my sister to save Hyrule. The world depends on it. I've already prepared your <laughs> bridal bed and have it tied up as we speak. No. God, he would do this. Link, Link, my sister's clutch has been drying up. She's already has 12 catfish. The Red Flynn bloodline must continue. Oh no. Link, please, my sister ovaries are drying up. She owns at least three catfishes. One of them is named Ganyan Dwarf. <laughs> Stop, please, Link. You need to fluff my sister's eggs. Continue. I get it. She became a crazy cat lady or something. I can't. That's such a dumb threat. But yes, technically, uh, Cedon did in fact support you marrying his sister out there, which is kind of weird. Kind of weird that you would encourage your best friend to fluff your sister. So Link opening up a treasure chest. Da -da -da, and it's, oh, it's Ruto. Princess Ruto just claps onto him like a Rita and he's losing arms. She was very happy to be with him, I guess, out there. He literally had a carrier up above him the entire time he was inside of a of a big fish. Which my man out there is pretty strong to carry up a fish girl. She either wears nothing or he's just a big strong man. Kind of strange that Link still attracts fish people even after all these years. From Ocarina of Time 25 years ago to now Tears of the Kingdom. It's strange. The gloom keeps getting thicker. And, oh lord. <laughs> Princess Zelda, I don't think you should look at that gloom. That's the wrong gloom out here. <laughs> I'm thinking of really bad jokes out here, but I, I, there's so many bad poker jokes out here, and I, I am not going to say any of them. You can leave it in the comment section. That's on you. And this video has been sponsored by me. That's right. I'm super cool this Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm giving you guys 20% off of my entire merchandise on LostPawsMerch.com. You can shop and get anything you want. Extra off. Because I love you so much. I want you to have some stuff, man. Practically giving it away. And the best thing about it, anything that you buy, I will personally autograph a little thing for you. And just so you have a little bit extra just from me, because I want to show you a little bit extra love. We got body pillows, we got keychains, we got tons of excellent prints. Standees, we even have Booba Mouse pillows, man. I am quite degenerate in some of my stuff out there. <laughs> I tried just for you. So go ahead, check it out. Hope you get some of it. Anyway, back to the video.
And also remember, every sale helps inflate Pikachu just a little bit more. So comic by Max Day of Link trying to climb into class and his stamina wheel almost out and he manages to get in. I mean, him looking at his money, not having anything, so he picks some plants, gets some wood and flint, and he starts cooking in the schoolyard. And that kid is something else. Uh, how is he not expelled yet? What is Zelda even seeing him? Link, I finally got it! And it's a frog. Hurry up and taste it! Huh? Come on, I, you said he helped me with a science project. What? Uh, hurry up before it escapes. Never mind, they're perfect for each <laughs> Just the fact that Zelda likes frogs and the fact that if you go into a well uh, in Tears of the Kingdom where she's hiding all her presents and stuff that she's making for Link, there's just tons of frogs in there. <laughs> Why is she so obsessed with the frog? I don't get it. Oh my god. Just taking pictures of her and she just- Oh, she's self-aware. Okay, dude. <laughs> just a slap. Hey, man. Ain't nothing wrong with taking some pictures of Pura out here. Sometimes she even poses if he looks at you, man. That's cool. That's cool that they do look at you and smile for the camera. Or sometimes maybe they don't. It's my Zonai Sona and it's Princess Sonia. What are you, what are you doing there? Um, would you still love me if I were a Zonai? It's lovely, doll. I mean, I, you probably would, considering he's, you know, a Zonai himself. Would you still love me if I was a were- Oh my god. I, I don't know any woman that actually says that. I would love you no matter what. Minoru, could you make me a fursuit? A what? Did I stutter? L L Lady Sonia? I'm not a fur- <laughs> I mean, canonically, in Zelda, there were the kingdom's first furry <laughs> with Sonia and I guess also uh, Z the Zodai guy. That's a canonical furry couple. I don't know what else to say. Or lose brain cells for your entertainment. Oh. I hope you enjoy. I love losing brain cells. Oh, that's the windmill song. Well, the song of storms, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> find these tubes that make these perfect sounds. Bravo, madame. Bravo, a splendid performance. I am an expert at making people lose brain cells. Or maybe I'm just the one that's the expert of not having any brain cells to begin with. I mean, I am a memer, that is my specialty, not having them brain cells and holy crap, how do people, I need to turn this off. Oh, oh, it's a girl who lost her arm and she's making a Link cosplay with his arm? Oh, that's dope. That looks cool. That's a really good cosplay. Such a good idea, too. <laughs> I've been always wanting to uh, actually have a, a, a Link cosplay. I can't really settle on which one to make. Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, or just the classic tunic one. I'm not sure which one I would prefer to have. I mean, at least I have the Master Sword. Like an actual real one that someone gave to me at a con uh, that was indeed metal at a con that he snuck through security to give me. All right, so Nintendo posted a picture of the Master Sword. And when you pull out of the Ganusi, Dave? I mean, it would rot it away, I guess. And I apologize for this tweet, Nintendo. Please don't read this. <laughs> Got a lot of likes. And stop sharing this. Nintendo is going to see it and Miyamoto is going to cry. Bro, you can delete your tweet. I know what he's doing. He wants the attention. But the fact is, it actually just makes it funnier. <laughs> I don't want Miyamoto to cry, though. I think he would probably laugh. He's got a great sense of humor. Comic from Hedge of Bits out here as Link sees the dung beetle out there and he captures it and he holds it in his hand. Da -da -da -da. And later, all right, Skyward Sword guy, I forgot this guy's name, but he catches the hand, takes the sword with his own hand, and is like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the stinky hand trick. I mean, Link really never washes his hand canonically, and he picks up a lot of stuff out there. I bet there's some stinky things that he's been picking up. He probably doesn't smell too good himself, considering all the dead things that he carries on him, especially in like Tears of the Kingdom. I just saw a Tears of the Kingdom video where someone made a functioning scale, and now I am burdened with the knowledge that Link weighs exactly as much as 10 apples. That twink is 10 apples. Wait, what? He weighs just 10 apples? 
People in Zelda really just build different out there. I mean, the twink uh, it only weighs 10 apples. How much does the Rito Princess weigh if he could just carry her everywhere, man? Oh, firework out here? Oh, Korok's up there. That's a really cool... Oh, he even explodes in a star. He's got the star bits going up in a star-shaped rocket and it explodes in a star. That's a really cool design firework out there. That's really cool. I mean, it even blows up a Korok as well. Okay, I'm a man taking... Okay, pictures of two pieces of wood and... Okay. All right, we, we got a little bit of dark humor in here, okay? Just flying right on in there. Oh boy, who could have... Who could have seen that one coming out there? So Snegovsky out here again with some beautiful artwork of Zelda Link. Hurry up and help me. And there's Ganondorf in the background with Minda. Wait, what's going on in the back? Anyway, and the next picture is Link just finished dressing up. <laughs> Stop. I mean, to be fair, he already wears very effeminate costumes in Tears of the Kingdom. I feel like he would probably rock that Zero issues whatsoever, okay? That twink boy probably enjoys it. Zelda movie announced. Oh yeah. Producer of Morbius, director of the Maze Runner trilogy, writer of the Rise of... S oh. I forgot about the live action Zelda movie. I haven't even talked about that because that happened like, I think literally like right after I did my last Zelda meme video and yeah, it's been announced! And I was kind of excited because Miyamoto was like, Yo, Miyamoto here, we're making this. And I, that's cool, but... Yeah, it's made by the writer of Rise of Skywalker and Morbius. Like, I just... I don't think this is going to be good. So Zelda and I are saying, I've been captured. Someone please send help. And file? Send link. Oh, we gotta end it with a corny joke here anyway. <laughs> so... I hope you guys enjoyed another Zelda meme video out here. I just gather these up occasionally and sometimes, I know, I, I feel like, yeah, this is good enough. <laughs> this, this is gonna be fun. If you enjoy some Zelda meme videos, I have plenty of other final Zelda meme videos that you can check out. And you know, if you, if you're free tired of Zelda and you, this is gonna be it, you know, I hope to at least see you beautiful sons of guns in, in the next video.